Yo, what's up, uh, me? You know, same old shit. I'm gonna tell you anyways, just got back from work. Um, I actually just got back from the gas station after work. I got, a, I got some honest tea. They didn't have, a, uh, I think it's pomegranate or some shit. I got the honey. You know, it's bitter and uh, not, not really refreshing. It's just a tad sweet, so that's all I was looking for. Um, but the other day, I was at uh, Walmart when I bought my trampoline, and I saw some Kool-Aid, and I was like, oh, Kool-Aid, and you know, like in those little like plastic bottles, and I was like, fuck, one of these right here. And I was like, man, I kind of want to get those. I haven't had those for a long ass time. And then I saw this shit right here, right there. See that? It's not fucking up to the edge. And I was like, holy shit, fucking Kool-Aid. Listen to Shy City. Mr. Shy City was like, yo, to the makers of Kool-Aid, this is a paraphrase, you don't have to fill up goddamn Kool-Aid all the way to the tip when you open up these motherfuckers and it spills all over my new white carpet. That's what he said. And apparently Kool-Aid was like, fuck. And this guy's genius. You know how fucking American Airlines saved like fucking $700,000 by taking one olive out of fucking first class flights in like 1987? Kool-Aid was like, this guy, Shy City, he's the next fucking genius. We could probably save like, I don't know, no money on the water and like, I guess Kool-Aid isn't really hard to make so they, they probably save like maybe fucking 12 cents or some shit but that's still, I mean we're in a goddamn recession, that's something. Don't, you don't scoff at 12 cents in this time, in this age. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do with this? Hit it with a freeze pop! Oh, I was so glad it didn't blow up on my fucking carpet. Cause I too have a white carpet like Shy City. Jesus. Why did I want to hit it with a freeze pop? Hit it with a freeze pop. Hit it with a freeze pop. Hit it with a freeze pop. Hit it with a gang of freeze pops. I love Shy City, dude. Fuck, that freeze pop is gone. They're called Otter Pops, by the way, Mr. Shy City. Uh, yeah. So, uh, another thing. People, if you see, if you're at, a, like, a, let's say a public park, and... There's a guy who looks like me, and he's on a big ass red machine that's got a 72 inch cutting range, and the blades will chop fucking rocks up into little pieces without even fucking miss skipping a beat. It might dull the blade a little bit, but that ain't no thing. Let's say, hypothetically, you were at this park and you saw me coming at your ass. Would you, A, stand there like a fucking idiot, B, move away, but leave your child there, who is not able to get away on their own because they're in like a fucking car seat, or C, throw rocks at me. Okay, answer's not C, you fucking dicks. I know you're all like, I'll just throw a fucking rock at him. Where are you going to get a rock? You're in the middle of a fucking park here. You know, I don't like just have lock rocks laying around on the fucking grass. I'm a, I'm a good landscaper, you fucks. You just underestimate me. And if you said A... Stand there like a fucking moron, then you're gonna get your goddamn toes chopped off. But what usually happens, or what happened to me today, is B. Motherfuckers playing baseball, throwing the baseball back and forth. There was this guy and these two girls and this little baby just chilling. And I come fucking. I, I, and see, it's not like I'm just like, run up on you. You see me from like a mile away, and I'm going back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back. Fourth, here they are. As soon as I get up there, they they look at me like I'm a fucking idiot. Like, what the fuck? You're mowing this park. You're interrupting our terrible baseball throwing game. Oh well, let's just fucking move and leave our fucking kid here. And they just fucking left. I didn't want to get up and like move it, cause that's like, as soon as I pick that shit up, I'm a kidnapper, right? So I just sat there looking at them, like, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, seriously here. I mean. I'm in favor of abortions. I mean, I'm not in favor of them. I'm not just like, yo, bitch, you should get an abortion. I mean, if I got a bitch pregnant, I'd be like, yo, bitch, you should get an abortion. But, like, you know, it's not for everybody. But if you're just going to leave your fucking infant children out in the middle of a fucking park, I mean, first of all, they could die of exposure pretty simply. And second of all, I could turn it into fucking baby batter, dude. Not the good kind of baby batter that girls like to swallow, but the bad kind that will get you landed in 15 life in a fucking federal pen. I think I'm done ranting.
Uh, also, one more thing. You know what I found out yesterday after I made that video? I was like, fucking A, I'll just jump on that. I'll just make that shit right away. The camera angles won't be too hard. I'll just set that shit up. You know what I figured out was going to be the hard part? Characters. Because I got five different characters in this. The last one won't be too hard. because, But I've got... <clears throat> See, the setup is you gotta leave the camera in the same spot, because if you move it, it fucks up your whole mojo, right? Because if you're off by a little bit, when you splice it, it'll look like dicks and balls that you just rubbed onto a camera, and that's not what I'm going for here. I put a lot of fuck time into this shit. So, every single guy I'm using, every character I'm gonna be, has gotta wear different clothing, at least a different shirt. I was also gonna fucking, like, tie my hair back for one, have it like this for another, fucking just have it all over the place for another. Maybe have this fucking like bandana on, have my fucking shroom hat, I don't even know. But I'd have to fucking say my lines. I thought I was just gonna be able to, you know, sis plop the camera down, do all my shit as one guy, fucking, you know, and then change and then do all the shit as the next guy. But, you know, it's not gonna work like that. It's gonna suck. I'm gonna have to fucking jump around. I'm an idiot. I should have just, you know, it was, it was a good premise and then I was like, yo, I wanna play all the characters myself. And that's when I was like, you don't want this minute this fucking shit's hella long already so uh i'm gonna go back and edit out whatever the fuck the drop of the sound happened usually it happens in a, during a pretty important part so if i'm just talking and then i skip to like a completely different subject you're like what the fuck you'll know now that's what happened in the last video too i'll catch you on the flip side kids i will i promise this is a promise